Hey Leo, so this is LT Tarot doing your February 2021 love reading. So if you guys haven't already, please make sure that you like, comment, and subscribe. And if this video does resonate for you, make sure that you um, purchase the um, extended reading below. And I'm going to go ahead and get right started. Um, I'm going to use um, this deck right here, is which is the Spellcaster deck. So I'm just going to shuffle real quick. And kind of seeing what's going on here. I hope you guys are having a good February. I've been trying to get these videos out quicker. I've been trying to do better by these videos. Because I feel like I neglected you guys in 2021. There's so, so much different stuff. Okay. So at the bottom of the deck, we have the Hermit. So why are you uh, Leo's is in Hermit mode? Like, are you guys are just going through a spiritual journey or are you just kind of like um, in separation with someone? Like, what's going on while you're in hermit mode? So it's like you guys are in hermit mode, but then you have the success card. So I guess you guys are like kind of like getting away from relationships a little bit and focusing on yourself and focusing on your own spirituality with the, um, these two cards. Mm. Let's see what this reading is going to be about. Let's see who you're attracting and um, what's going on exactly with love. I'm actually going to pull some more cards. Not this deck. Because with those two cards there, it made me just think, like, what's really going on with Leo? Because I'm a Leo and I want to know. I want to see if this is applicable to my life. I know all of us Leos are different. Okay. So we know like you guys are in spirit, um, you guys are doing a spiritual journey. You're kind of separated from people. So that means that you kind of maybe separate from a partner and you guys are, um, working on a lot of stuff that's bringing a lot of success to your life. So let's pull the first card here and see like why <laughs> with Leo, what's going on? Yeah. I mean, Leo, you having victory in everything you do. Like when it comes to love here. Victory is on your side. I think you just haven't tapped into that energy yet. Um, I think that a lot of us are, and I'm just going to say us because I'm a Leo, but this doesn't necessarily have to go with me. I'm just going to say us. <laughs> but anyway, a lot of us are like having, you know, this mindset of, you know, like, you know, like we may not feel like love is surrounding us, even though we want a relationship, even though we want good things to happen to us, we don't see the victory. And so like when it comes to relationships, we don't see the victory on it. Like think about it this way. Say if you had a partner from your past came back and it came back before Mercury retrograde because I think Mercury retrograde started January 31st. I'm not sure. But anyway, I'm not good with that, but I do know we're in a Mercury retrograde. <laughs> so anyway, so say if you had someone who came back before Mercury retrograde and they've been trying to, they've been kind of sniffing at your door for a little while now. And you kind of been like, uh, I don't know. I kind of, back in the day, I wanted that person to come back. But now they not, you know, I don't know if that's what I really want. Well, you manifested this person coming back. So you have victory. Like start looking at your, um, the small things and realize like, you know, that's still a victory, you know? Because I feel like once you tap into that energy, you'll start to realize that victory is surrounding you. And you just need to feel that energy and enjoy that energy here. Let's pull another card. Because, like I said, you're in hermit mode, which meaning, like, you're doing this spiritual connection. You know, you're going within yourself and having this spiritual uh, mode. And you're having success with the sun card. So, I mean, with the victory card, it's like... You know, just tap into that energy that everything is working out. Even if it don't feel like it's working out, it's working out. Look at this. A woman holding a coin. So your money is getting good. Like you got, you, you rubbing them dollars here. So your money is getting real good, Leo. You know, I feel like whatever you're investing your time is, you're having so uh, much success here and you're, you holding the power. I don't think that. You realizing, because this is the message I'm getting. I don't think Leo realizes that you hold the power in these relationships. I think that you sometimes want a relationship so bad, or 
you know, are willing to get into a relationship, even though you know it ain't the right thing for you, you want it so much that what happens is, is that, you know, you think you lose your power. You give this other person the power and you have to realize that Leo holds the power. Why a car fell? Leo holds the power. You got victory. You got a woman holding the coin. Like you are so powerful, Leo. You can manifest whatever you want. You know, however you manifest in it. Because there's multiple ways to manifest things. You can do it by journal. You can do it by candles. You can do it by praying. You can do it by meditating. But you hold the power in your relationships. So you kind of like, I feel like this reading is saying like, Leo, take back the power. Don't give that power back to that person or anybody or any man or woman. Don't give it to them anymore. Take back this power because you have victory. And you really need to understand, and I'm going to repeat this one more time. Leo, you have victory. So whatever it is in this relationship, wherever, if you in a relationship with somebody, which I feel like a lot of you are not, that are watching this video, but or if you're in a relationship with somebody or you're not in a relationship with somebody, Leo holds the power. Leo controls their own destiny. Nobody else does that. Leo controls it. And Leo has to know, like, baby, you got the money. You know, your money about, if it's not right now, it's about to be amazing. You have victory. Like, you are a 10 and you have to realize that you are a 10 and nobody like comes above you because you are the stuff. I can't cuss on here because and with my ads and stuff. I want to say you the sh. You know what I'm saying? But you are the sh. And you got to realize that. And I feel like your, your cars are saying like, baby, you are it. You are enough. You are everything that you need to be. The next card here, my Leo game, Leo game, Leo game, game. I like that. I got that from, I'm just having fun with you guys tonight, but because I'm up late, but I got that from um, Ghetto Vegans. I've been trying to transition them to a vegan lifestyle and I'm doing pretty good this year. Like I tried plenty of other times, but in the past I've um, done more processed vegan and this time around, I'm trying to teach myself how not to eat that way. Like, I don't care if you guys... <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm just in a talking about... I don't care if you guys... Oh, my gosh. Like, why are you rambling? Because this is me. And I'm just going to show you guys who I am. And I want to show you guys a little more personal about me. But I had, like... I had um, uh, sprained my ankle, like, a year ago. And I realized I had so much fluid in my uh, leg. I mean, my ankle. And... Since I've been vegan, like, um, eating less salt and stuff, my, that fluid has gone away. But anyway, sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry for that. But anyway, have patience, Leo. Like, you want this love you want. So, I mean, you you, you, you want this, the, the, the romance, right? That's what Leo's waiting on. Leo's waiting on for somebody to come in there and sweep them off their feet. You want, you, 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 you don't really, we're not really patient people. So it's saying have more patience. And I think that you need to realize that you're manifesting everything you're doing, you're manifesting, right? And as you manifest this partner, what's happening is, is that you need to realize that the things that you accept from people is what you're going to get. So as you go about your life and as you go about this month, you show people like whatever you don't like, you walk away from it because as you walk away, you're showing the universe like in God, like God don't send me no more of that because I don't want that. I'm not putting up with that. So because I'm not putting up with that, please don't send me any more of that. And so as you t show and teach the universe what you want as a partner, how you want to be treated what you want out of life, you got to have patience because these things are manifesting for you. Let me pull another card here. Doors of spirit. You guys are so spiritual. Didn't I just say, 
talk about the universe and talk about spirit, you know, like you guys are spiritual. You walk into this door of spirituality. That's why, like you got the hermit card and this represents the same thing that you guys are walking into this door of spirit. You guys are really starting to grow and blossom spiritually. And this means that you ain't taking nobody's stuff. Because as you grow spiritually, you need a man or a woman that's going to grow spiritually with you. You don't need to be just taking any and everything. That's why I'm in the, um, I'm in this mindset, Leo, that I'm not taking everything from everybody. I'm just like, if it don't fit, I must have quit. <laughs> like, I got to move. I got to do something different. I just can't be taking on this energy of like, I'm going to accept anything because I'm not. I realized that I'm a queen. I'm a boss chick. You know what I'm saying? And as I boss up, I don't need anybody. Um, I don't need just anybody coming to me. Like, I need a king that's going to fit me. And I feel like this is what... It's kind of like you guys are playing chess, Leo. It's kind of like you are a queen or a king looking for your queen or king. <laughs> and so... It's like you're so spiritual, you're so beautiful, you're such a beautiful soul. Like you're doing everything that you can you can do to grow and you're having victory out of it. Let me pull another card. Let me pour. And as you do this and as you realize your worth, you're going to be like Brandy and sitting on top of the world. Like sitting on top of the world, top of the world. <laughs> you guys are gonna definitely sit on top of the world. You guys are gonna feel that energy. You gonna guys gonna be looking down at the peasants and be like, you know what? I used to be one of them. You know what I'm saying? I used not necessarily be one of them. I was a queen stepping off my throne to deal with peasants, and now I don't have to do that. Like I'm not coming off my throne. I'm sitting on top of the world, baby. I can't come back to earth for you. <laughs> I can't come back to earth for you because I got it going on right now. Like, I just can't do that. Let's pull another card. Let's pull another card. So, the card we got here is Journey. Bear with me one, one second, guys. Let me turn my, um, my diffuser on. Okay. Sorry about that. So, you're on a journey. This journey, you're trying to figure out life, but you, I feel like you're figuring it out. You're learning everything you can learn and you're growing so much as a person. And so this is a beautiful journey that you're on. And so the master is beautiful energy that you have. You need someone to be on that level. Like you cannot be a queen or a king getting off that throne, going to the peasants. Like we can't do that no more. Like no longer. Because I'm going to be saying, because I've been watching Love and Hip Hop, like the reunion, I mean, like, thing, but I'm going to be like Mama D and be off with their heads. <laughs> because if you're dealing with that peasant, I'm like, we got to get rid of them because you can't be dealing with a peasant when you're in this queen energy and you're in this beautiful spirit and you actually are enjoying life or you're about to be. Because here's the thing, like, you got so much victory that's coming your way and you actually got victory that's surrounding you right and because um it's surrounding you you gotta recognize that there's a lot of beautiful things that's happening to you and you need to enjoy that energy but if you keep thinking like oh my gosh woe is me or i'm not where i want to be you know i'm also hearing enjoy the process as you go through this journey enjoy it so that's something that you guys need to work on let's pull another card here and as you do that, bam, you're going to have caring connections, good romantic connection. You know, I was talking to somebody earlier and they was telling me like they never really in had romance before. I don't know, guys, if you have like a real good romance, not just love and you guys are having sex or you guys are just chilling. But like a person, the opposite sex or same sex, I don't want to discriminate, but having someone who comes in and actually show you romance and sweep you off your feet. And I was just thinking like a lot of people haven't experienced that. And I told them that. I said a lot of people haven't experienced that. And one of the things as you do your manifestation, 
I was telling her that you need to start asking for romance, a romantic partner. If that's what you want, you need to ask for it. You need to tell the universe, I want romance. You may not even realize that you haven't had that before. You know, you may be, um, let me say this, <clears throat> excuse me. You may be thinking like in your relationships that you always got to fight with somebody and that's just how it is because that may have been how you grew up. That may be like how you seen your parents deal with each other or your parents deal with other romantic partners, right? Or other partners like that. But I've been thinking like, um, or I've been looking at older people on my Facebook and I've been thinking like, you know, when I look at those people, I just see people are, who are in love. And one of the things that got me thinking was like, I'm not putting up with anybody who don't know how to show me love, like on that level, like on that spiritual level where you connected, like my grandmother she like she only don't know she ever been with my grandfather when he passed she ain't giving nobody else and that's because that's how deep the love is and i think like we need to stop chasing false like a false relationship you know and start chasing our deal our ideal relationship with people and stop actually saying like cleaning up with people's stuff when we don't have to and i feel like this message is to these leos out here because as I do my readings with people, like my personal readings, I notice that a lot of Leos love too hard and that love is not reciprocated. And we got to change that energy where, you know, like you have to realize you are that king or that queen and you should not have to get off your throne for anybody. And I think that you have to chase that old school love where those good, you know, the, the good ones that you know of, like where you just know people are spiritually connected and they, they're dealing with their soulmates. So let's pull another card. And see what's going on. You may have some people who are envious of you. Like people who just... They don't like the way you move, you know? And it could be your friends. It could be your family members. Because I hear like... um. I'm getting messages that it could be like mother-in-laws that you meet that that queen energy, everybody can, can't deal with that queen energy. Like you, you know, like you stick out, you know, I don't know. I was telling someone the other day that, you know, my energy, it sticks out. Like people notice me in the crowded room. I don't know why, but it does, you know? And so you guys may have that same energy, and people become envious of you because they don't they don't know how you you were able to stick out like that and why their uh, their attention is automatically drawn to you and so I just see in your circle or people around you are a little envy of you or envious of you. Let me pull another card here. Leo, you are a healer. You heal hearts. You heal hearts, you heal spiritually, you heal physically, you know, you may be healing people financially, but you are a healer and you have to step into this energy of knowing your worth. I feel like this reading is uh, um, to my Leos is know your worth because you are so beautiful. You are such a good spirit. Don't ever let nobody take that away from you, you know, and I feel like you are getting care and connections. You are, everything is going to kind of work out for you, but what I want to do is, because we know what your situation is. We know how you're growing. I want to see more about love here. So I'm going to pull some cards about love. You know, I just tried. Um, and that came out because that message has had to come out. But let's see more about love here. So I'm going to use these tarot cards again and see what messages we have more towards love here. All right. Tell me about Leo's love life. We know how they're growing. We know how they're attracted to 
they're about to sit on their throne and not come off of peasants. So as what's going to happen once they do that? Once they realize they were. What's happening with Leo? Leo, y'all are two beautiful people to not know your worth. Look at you sitting in that king energy. That is the card that represents Leo. That That's what I've just been saying. It's crazy how like life work. I always say that. But it's crazy how I was just saying you don't need to come off your throne. This king, which is the king of wands, and it represents Leo, Sagittarius, and Aries. This king does not come off his throne. This king dele um, delegates the work. Like, you know, if he's a boss, he's going to tell people. He's like that leadership person. He ain't coming off that throne. He's a fun king. He's the, look at me, I'm over here having fun. You know, I'm over here kicking it with the magician. We drinking, we partying up, we having a good time. You know, I'm enjoying my life type of energy. But he, when he does that, he ain't coming off that throne. So he ain't dealing with peasants. He's not dealing with people unless he needs them to do the king's bidding. And that's what I've been saying this whole time is know your worth, Leo, because you don't have to come off that, um, that <laughs> you don't have to come off your throne. You know, you don't have to come off your throne. And because this king ain't, and that represents you. It really, and the um, king of ones really represents Leo. So don't come off your throne for your next relationship or anybody you're dealing with. And as you don't come off your throne, look at this. I asked to tell us more about your love life. You're going to find yourself more emotionally balanced and attracting more emotionally balanced relationships. Like, when you know something, Leo, like, when you know that a person ain't on your level, don't, let's see how this king is. You better get off this throne to go deal with them because you know that you know that a person is not on your level. And either this person, whoever you're dealing with, either they're going to elevate to you or you just move on to the next. Don't waste your time on people who's not elevating with you. Don't argue with people who is not on your level. Because if your frequency is high, your vibration is high, why would you lower it for someone who you know that don't have the capability of being on your level? Let's pull another. And this also represents like uh, relationships you can trust as well. So let's see what else is coming towards you. The sun again. Y'all hear my country accent today. If you, don't, if you ain't never heard it before. Um, the sun. So there me that means there's so much success coming to you when it comes to relationship. As you decide not to get off that throne, these two kings, and you get more emotionally balanced, you're gonna have success in the relationship. You may have a kid with this person, but you're gonna you may be getting married to this person but you're going to find yourself happy because you're going to have a lot of um, success in this relationship that's coming towards you. Let's pull another card. Mm. Because you uh, manifested this love with the magician card. You manifested this situation. And so, like I said earlier, you can manifest this relationship however you want to. You can manifest this relationship through writing, through candle burning, through meditation, through praying. But because you are praying and meditating and getting yourself ready and elevated um, as high as you can be right now, at your highest level um, of frequency that you can be right now, you're going to notice that everything you speak becomes things. So watch as you speak things, Leo, because when the things that comes out your mouth, you're going to have. The, actually, I'm hearing the thoughts you have are going to become things. So as you notice that, make sure that you don't put no negative thoughts in your head. You don't be pessimistic. You don't talk pessimistic that you only speak positive things. Even if you don't believe it right now, you know, as you go along about your life, you'll, you'll realize that you may not believe it, but it's going to come to you because you're speaking it and you're thinking it. Let's see what else coming towards you. I don't know why you're arguing with people. I don't know why you're battling with people. Maybe because people are not on your frequency and you, 
you stepping off your, and this is for this month, you stepping off your, your throne, and you don't need to do that, Leo. So I feel like somebody from the past you arguing with, and this person needs to realize that you ain't going to argue with them no more, that you ain't got time for it, and this person is going to have to boss up because you already a boss. You the queen. You more than the boss. You a queen. So, or a king. So, it's like, this person is going to have to realize that you're not going to argue with peasants. And if they and if they argue with you right now, that means their frequency is low. And they on the, ain't on your level. So, you got to realize, you got to make that decision. Is this person from your past worth you arguing with? Worth, like, um, your frequency dropping down. And that's what you really have to work on. Pull another card here. Oh, but you got a lover's card. So you as you boss up, girl and boy, you got the lover's card. You got a long, intimate relationship that's coming in. And I don't, I want to, for some of you guys, it's with an old partner. And some of you guys is with a new partner. Some of you guys are going to raise your frequency so high that your old partner ain't going to, they ain't going to uh, question you. They're going to get right. Or some of you guys is bringing in something new. But you got an old relationship coming through. I mean, you got not an old relationship. You got an intimate relationship coming through. Mm, some of my girls and boys is getting married. Because I love that card because I always think horse and chariot, horse and chariot. And that when I see horse and chariot, I think weddings. But that means that it's a lot of success and this, this relationship is going to be put on a pedestal. People are going to see this relationship and wish that they had this relationship. because, And that's probably where the envy is, envy is coming from, from earlier. That people are going to see this relationship and they're going to realize that this is a good relationship. And it's something that they want. And they're going to be jealous. They're going to be envious. Let me see. Let's pull a couple more cards here. You make a long-term plans. You're wishing upon the star and everything you wishing is coming to. Like everything you pray on the spiritual, like all these prayers that you sent to the universe, they're starting to come to you on the physical. So don't be, I, I'm hearing that, don't be afraid or don't get worried about the fact that, you know, this may not be your life right now. Because these things are still happening on the spiritual. And things happen quicker on the spiritual side. And it takes time. Because remember that the patient card came out. It takes time for it to happen on the physical world. So understand that. But uh, I see you making long-term plans with this new boo thing. Because it is a long-term relationship. Let's pull one more card here. <laughs> okay. One more, one more, one more. Ooh, this is a romantic relationship being swept off your feet with that card. I just feel like your love life is about to be amazing. So don't be afraid to come into your own and, and know your worth. Um, I'm going to do the rest of this reading on the other side because I got, I'm getting other messages. Just kind of like know what's going on with your partner and not only know what's going on with your partner, but seeing what's going on with you, like, I just want to get all the details. So I'm going to um, do the extended reading and figure out what else is happening for you in love this month. How we get this love this month. Um, you know, um, more about the person, what they do, you know, how they come in towards you, what you need to know about that partner. So I'm going to say, I said that cancer was the best reading. And I'm going to say Leo is a good reading too. I said I was going to pick three every month. And whoever um, have the best reading ever, I was going to name it best reading ever. <laughs> so this is a really, really positive uh, 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 reading here. Like I'm shocked because, you know, not all Leo's readings are the best. I've been watching other readers too. And I'm like, uh, oh, they... They ain't, I'd be like saying to myself, they ain't my life, but maybe that's some other Leos because it ain't always the best thing, but I feel like this is a good one for you guys. So I am going to name this the best reading ever for Leos. So I hope you guys did enjoy this reading. 
If you made it 30 minutes, please like. Please comment and say I made 30 minutes because I don't always I don't do 30 minutes. I do like 15 to 20 minute reading. So if you made it to the end, comment, please. Like, please. <laughs> and have a good day, y'all. Uh, thank you for watching.